Hey everyone, I hope you all are safe and doing good. So in the series of learning Python programming language, in the previous video we have seen one project. We have worked on a project that was a quiz game, right? So now in the next video, in this video actually we will see one more concept that is modules. What are modules in Python? And basically why do you need this concept? Why modules, right? The benefits or advantages of using modules or modularity concept in your program, right? and then types of modules and then how to use modules and how to use the inbuilt modules how to create your own module this thing we will see with the help of program right okay now first of all uh, actually why we need modules that thing we will see the answer of this question the need of modules or you can say what are the benefits of using modularity concept or modules right so if you have gone through the previous video the quiz game then uh, there was one file and in that file only we are having the database I mean the question bank as well as the option and then our code right let me just show you first that project okay see this was a project for our quiz game we have question bank and then we have the answer of these question here and then we have options a b c d for each question we have only five questions we have taken only five questions and the code is also in this file only in one file we have everything our database obviously this is what kind of it's a database for us right so data as well as the main coding right so if i want to add more questions if i just want in my quiz there should be 50 question so the question question bank it should be 50 questions there then option also there should be 50 list of having abcd options for everything right so the program or this program would be very lengthy right and it would not be so much readable because in the same i have database and then here after that i am having the main code so the better option is what what we can do we just <coughs> take this database from here we just create a new file that is quiz underscore database dot py and this is our file this file is having our this data right so this database now if you want to use this database in our main file then what you need to do is we just have to import how to you have to import different modules so just use import keyword and the name of that module that's it quiz underscore database right quiz underscore database that's it now this database we can use in our, this program so i think that is more readable now more manageable right so now this separate this file is what it just a module so in python every file acts as a module so what we can say what is a module the definition of module it's just a file having or containing some python code you can say like some statements variables or definition of functions or classes anything it can have right so that is simply a module that's it right now if two to uh, you know uh, people are working on the same project so just like me and my friend so i can give this file to my friend question bank file this database file i can just say i want 50 question or 100 question in this database so he or she is going to update this file only and right and in main file there is no need to update anything i just have my main file and after updating this main file will work as it is so there should be no change in, in main file Right? So this is how if you have divided your project into different files, multiple, you know, more than one people can work on that project. Like then, right now in one file in database, my friend is working and in main file I am working. Right? If I have only one file main.py and everything is within that file, so only one person at a time can work on that file. Right? Not two separate person or more than one person. Okay. So this is what concept of modules. So now first let's discuss why we need modules, this concept. So as you have seen, after dividing our project into two separate files, like one is for database and one is our main file, right? That was easy to manage our program or our project. Although we have divided our project into two files only because that was not so much big project or we are having a small program only that was not so much large, right? But yeah, after dividing into two files, that was, I think, more manageable, right? More readable. So that is what, what first reason to use modularity concept or to use modules in Python. 
or we can take a real life example suppose see we have our almira or we have our wardrobe and i am having like maybe uh, multiple you can say shelf in my cupboard so i have like t-shirt tops jeans and everything so i am putting everything i just fold my t-shirt right and here is suppose i have this one this shelf so i'm just putting my t-shirt here then my jeans my pajamas my tops and everything in just one pile right so if i want to pick that one top which is here near the bottom then if i pull this out from here then everything will be messy again right so better idea is what just separate out like my here i'll put my only tops and this i'll put my jeans my pajamas and like this so now it would be easy to manage my clothes it would be easy to put the clothes to take the clothes from the almira and all right i hope you are going to you know you are able to relate this example right same same thing if your program like gets bigger many lines of code then rather than putting all the lines or everything in a single file because that would be not easy to manage that program right we just split the program into separate files right and that would be very easy after that to manage those files because whenever you want to use any file then i can import that file right how we are going to import that also i'll show you using import keyword that is very simple in python right same like if i want to take my t-shirt from here and i want to put here put here so i just take my t-shirt here and i can put here it's like just importing right importing the module or importing something from any other file right so first thing this for easy maintenance of the program right and okay now next next reason is why do you need modules let's take one more real life example i hope you are you are able to relate this example also see i personally love that roasted cumin powder i put that powder in buttermilk or curd or in if i have raita then also i just sprinkle that powder on that raita and some snacks also like chaat or anything then i also mix that powder uh, you know in that chaat also right so what is one process suppose i have a buttermilk today i am going to drink buttermilk chaat right so what i'll do to make that powder i'll just take cumin seeds i'll just roast those cumin seeds in a pan on medium flame then i'll just uh, you know uh, make the powder or i'll just i'll just grind those seeds and that the powder and then i'll sprinkle that powder in my buttermilk on the next day i'm i'm this is curd i'm going to put i just want to uh, you know use those uh, powder in this curd also same process i'm going to repeat take a pan cumin take cumin seeds then i'll just roast those seeds and grind and then the powder i'll use then i have next day on i'm having raita for that also i have to do same process next day suppose i'm having some snacks some chaat these kind of thing and there also i want to put those powder cumin roasted cumin powder so the same process i'll repeat right so this roasted cumin powder thing i'm using frequently right so rather than repeating the process of making this powder again and again on each day what i'll do on one day only i'll take just one cup of cumin seeds and i'll make powder and i'll just put that powder in a container now this is my container so if i want to use in curd milk or anything i just take this container take some powder and use that rather than repeating the same process of making this powder right so i think that is very useful for me if i do this process you know if i you can say uh, make the powder one day and just put that in a container that is easy for me to use that again and again right same thing so same in programming like if some functions are very handy or some functions are you know uh, those are frequently used functions we use those functions in many programs or in many projects right so rather than writing the definition of those functions again and again in each program like for each project what we can do 
we just put those functions in a separate module right the definition of those functions in a separate module and in whenever you want to use like in my project i want to use those functions so i just import that module my friend also want to use those functions so my friend will also import the, that module only rather than writing the definition of the function again it is time saving as well right as well as it is increasing the code reusability okay so i guess now you are able to relate these real life example with the need of modules in programming i guess so if not you can just let me know in comment section i'll just try to improve my quality of examples real life examples right okay now i, I guess it is clear to you guys why we need modules right first it will increase the code reusability obviously the time would be saved time saving next the program or the project would be more manageable or easily manageable or maintain uh, you can we can easily maintain that project if that is divided into separate files right or you can say it would be definitely more readable more understandable right so these are you can say some benefits of using modules so you can say this is what in need of modules now we will see types of modules there are two types of module built in as well as you can create your own module so built in modules like math random and many modules i'll show you those built in modules also and we can create an our own module also this thing we will see with the help of program right so let's do some practical okay so let's create a new file here in this project only and for example i am just going to give it my module dot py any name you can give i have told you like every python file acts as a module so module obviously having dot extension dot py right now in this we can have many thing like maybe definition of some functions classes some simple statement some simple variable anything right so in this module or right now in this module i'm not creating my own module let's let's have like uh, not my module let's have a new file and uh, i'm just naming it module underscore lecture dot py so first there are two types of module built in and obviously user defined module so first we'll uh, see how to use built in modules these are already defined right now if you want to check out what are the built in modules then we have a function we have help and there some argument you need to pass so i'm just passing modules and i just want to print the what are the different modules i have that's it and this thing you need to write down the help function and bracket in as an argument modules that's just run this and see we are having these number of built in modules so i guess some modules are see we have uh, i guess random module total module and we have used math module random module these module we have used right so if you want to check out if in math module what we have or any module what, what we have then we can check out like i'm just want to check out in random module what we are having so let's run this see these functions we are we have in this uh, random module see shuffle seed these functions some function we have discussed right random rand int these functions we have okay now suppose if you want to check like in math what i'm having in math module i'm having the data we have value of e value of pi having in math module right so how to import this module in your file you just have to use import keyword and the name of the module math that's it now this has given you the access to use whatever the data or the functions in math module you can use right but it's not like that it has incorporated or imported all the functions and data no it had just incorporated or inserted the name of the module math to use those functions and those data you have to use the name of the module first like if you want to print uh, the uh, value of that variable what we have seen e one variable e that well variable so you have to use first the uh, module name math dot c 
we have e pi inf nan and this we can use so i just want to print value of e math dot e let's run this and see this is the value now you can access everything right so this is how you can import built-in module now we are going to create our, your, our own module right so i have my module dot py so here i am going to you know i'm going to take first a variable suppose a is equal to 10 and then i am having a definition of some function maybe like like area of square and just to need to pass one side so one argument like i'm taking the variable name side and it is just returning and the area of square is what i think the side square so power of two then i am having one more function maybe suppose calculator and i'll just pass here two argument x and y and it will just print addition subtraction multiplication and division so in this definition of this function i am having this addition subtraction multiplication and division right and only one function this i'm having so that's it i'm having only two functions and one variable okay so now in my module in another file i can import this module so how to import you just have to use this import keyword and my name of my module is my module my underscore module right now i can use anything this function this function and this variable everything from this module so suppose i want to print this um, what we can say value of a that variable so first you have to use the module name dot a right and let's run this and see it will print 10 right this is one way to import module another way is import module alias name suppose your module name is a big name so everywhere and here suppose you want to call that function square so my module dot square area of square and just pass one side and it is returning something so you have to write here print okay then again i am going to let's run this first see 10 value of a and then 16 is area of square right now if my module name is very long so every time you have to use module name then dot then whatever function or variable you need to use so a small name i want to give here so as an alias you can import that thing so the second way is import that module name as small name i can give like m only now rather than my module now my module name in my file is m so now it will give error if you run this see name my module is not defined in line number two here my module dot a now it is m only it's not my module because i have renamed this it's m now okay let's run this see now 10 16 so this is second way third way is specifically i don't want to import everything from my module suppose i have 10 or 15 functions but i just import one function here i have only two functions. but i just want to import or use only calculator function so rather than importing everything only one specific function i want to import so for that you have to use from keyword so from the name of the module this is my underscore module and what you need to import import only calculator calculator so now you cannot use here a or area of square because we you have just imported calculator so let's just comment out these thing and call the function calculator and just pass 3 comma or uh, 3 comma 2 these two values let's run this addition subtraction multiplication and division right so if you specifically import calculator no need to write down here the module name dot simply you can use the function name calculator that's it or this calculator this also you can give a separate name or you can say alias name like calculator as c 
So now rather than calculator, you need to use C because now calculator is not defined because I have renamed this as C. So you just need to pass here the name function name is C like this. So when you use this aliasing concept, if the module name or the function name is very long, so you can use aliasing concept rather than writing the same name again and again, the long name, right? But one problem with this thing is what? If you want to uh, import a specific thing, then the problem is, suppose I want to, and uh, achha, next thing, next thing is what? I want to import as well as the variable name A. So just write down comma A. So now it will work fine. You have to simply print A and C A. Let's run this. Okay, name C is not defined because we are using not aliasing now. We are using here what? The complete name calculator, right? C, 10 and then definitely this calculator function, right? If I want to import area of square as well, so comma area of square, or rather than writing here, separate, separate name of the function and variable name, what we can do simply, we can put here a asterisk. So now specifically it will import everything a whatever is there a this function this function all the three things now it will not give any error if you print this thing also area of square or here i just want to print something like this like value of a from another module is this so let's run this value of a 16 is area of square and this is that right so this is another way of importing uh, now, see, separately, if I want to import separate like A, from my module A, but the problem in this case or in this way of importing specific thing is what? If in this file also, I am having one more variable A or suppose A comma B and equal to I am having 4 comma 5, right? And then I am having sum, sum equal to A plus b and just i want to print sum see sum is 9 fine 4 plus 5 is 9 value of a from another module is 4 but from another module value of a is 10 it is importing it is just printing this a from this module only a but i want to print i want to access this value so in this case it's compulsory to write down here specifically exclusively said this a is from another module from my module so the name of that module my module dot a like this my underscore module dot a but still it will give error because because we have used this way of importing this A. See, let's run this and I'll show you the error. Name my module is not defined here. My module dot A in line number 5. Here. My module is not defined because we have just imported this A. Not the complete my module. So, the better idea is what I suggest to use is import and the name of your module my module. And whatever you want to use now any function or uh, variable or anything exclusively you can just tell I'm using this thing from my module so my module dot a now run this see sum is 9 but value of a from another module is 10 now it is printing everything I mean uh, everything is fine now it is printing the correct value of a right so you got now the way of importing the modules how to create your own module and what can be the problem if to if you use that from keyword that way from module name and import a specific variable or function right and i hope you got the reason or the benefits of using modules right like this i have taken just a simple example so if there are many functions 10 to 15 functions so i can just try, write down those functions here or i can just make two or three separate files right one file is everything about square area of square parameter of square like this right then rectangle area of rectangle parameter of rectangle and like this area of circle perimeter of circle and like this right so two or three separate file for individual object and then in one main file you can import what file you want to import according to your requirement according to your choice 
okay so it's not like that you can just have two files only like this you can have three four five as many files as you want and in modules we can have now sort only variables and definition of functions but we can have classes as well right so that thing we will see i guess uh maybe next video or maybe next to next video when we will discuss this quiz game with the help of oop approach when we will create that quiz game with the help of oop approach okay so i hope you got i guess everything about modules in python right most probably in next video we'll see packages in python so now i'll see you in the next video bye bye take care